happened to me. Recently, the images of police brutality on the internet, protests across the nation, and people of color battling COVID-19 at disproportionately higher rates are just some of the factors that affect one's mental health. If you're a person of color and your stress level is higher than a non-person of color um, because of all of the, the, the race and racial factors in this country, then you're more likely to have mental health problems. Many blacks have become desensitized, having trouble recognizing the signs and symptoms of mental health conditions, such as anxiety and depression, which leads to them underestimating the effects of mental health conditions. By the time they arrive for care, they're really sick. Only 4.7% of psychologists identify as black, which makes it difficult to find a black therapist to work with and can result in higher caseloads for those who are practicing. To combat the lack of inclusion, some black psychologists are making it a priority to meet people where they are by creating a comforting environment and providing resources patients need to heal. We have to reduce the stigma around it. And more importantly, we need to address it from a culturally, uh, a place that's culturally relevant. In Milwaukee, Tarsha Wiggins, a licensed clinical social worker, created a different form of therapy. It really just like just hit me. I was just like, what if we took trap, took this music, and we coupled it with therapy? It's like coming to the club, but you're gonna leave so much better. Trap therapy consists of group counseling sessions that are heavily inspired by rap music. Psychologists like Tarsha understand that by embracing culture, you can create a safe space for individuals seeking help. There's a need for the mental health and mental welfare of a lot of black and brown people. We want people to uh, normalize the conversation around mental health. And so we want people to feel empowered to have those conversations and seek resources. Do not keep it bottled up inside. Until you talk about it, then you can take the next step about getting receiving help. Here are some general tips on how you can provide support for those dealing with mental health. Listen without making judgments and concentrate on their needs in that moment. Ask them what would help them. Let them share as much or as little as they want to. Treat them with the same respect, compassion, and empathy you would like to receive. 